Okay, we're going to start with ISO circ number two. And like all of our drawings, we have a length of four, a width of one and a half, and a height of two and a half. So we're going to go ahead and draw a solid. I'm going to go ahead with my ISO template open. I'm going to go ahead and hit R for rectangle here. I'm going to click once at the origin. You'll see that little golden orb appear there. Click once, release your mouse button, move away, type in 4, comma, 1.5, hit enter, P for push-pull on your keyboard, click once, release the mouse, move up, and type in 2.5. Okay, looking back at our drawing here, we can see that this half circle has a radius of one and one fourth. So let's go ahead and change our view to front. And if you don't see this toolbar, once again, it's under view toolbars. Make sure you have your views selected. And I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna roll in, use the roller on my mouse. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit C for circle. I'm just going to hover along this edge, and when I find the midpoint, a little blue circle is going to appear. I should say midpoint. I'm going to click once. And I'm just going to move my mouse down, and you'll notice in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen it's asking for the radius, which we know is 1 and 1 fourth, which I could type in as 1 space 1 over 4, or I could have also typed in 1.25. I'm going to hit Enter. I'm going to hit E for Eraser. I'm going to click on the top of this circle. So now I have my half circle. I'm going to do a rotation or orbit. P for push pull. Click once. Move it all the way back. Release the mouse. And there we have ISO circ number one. Once again, make sure your drawing is saved in an isometric fashion, taking up most of the screen before you move on to the next drawing.